Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> Yes, I do. do the statement. Do you speak to our people? Colleagues, are we live for those that are live? Are we live? Uh, thank you very much for all those watching us by social media and to members of the press. We were here at the case for uh, the people versus Honorable Mao Sampa. Our lawyers had commenced a private prosecution of Mr. Sampa's atrocities against the Patriotic Front. This was an initial action that was started, uh, I think, just uh, after I held that conference on 25th October uh, 2023. The purpose of this action was to demonstrate that the letters that Mr. Mao Sampa wrote were all illegal and a fraud. It has taken over almost, uh, I think almost a month for the court to process the action and now you saw that uh, summons were issued to witnesses and to Mr. Mao Sampa. Today was the beginning of a uh, possible plea and beginning of prosecution because uh, we had even called three major witnesses, the former registrar, Madam Tandiwe P. Mohende, and the current acting registrar, Madam Mary Mulenga, and other witnesses who were ready to proceed. But we heard, as you heard in court, for those that were in court, that there's a letter that has been submitted to court by the Director of Public Prosecutions, um, Honorable Gilbert Peary, State Council, who has indicated that he wishes to discontinue this case. Our lawyers have not had sight of that letter, and we therefore requested that the DPP must come to court himself to come and present the matter. And that he, there was impunity. The accused persons, Mao Sampa and Morgan Ingono, didn't even bother to come to court. Uh, this is where we are. The magistrate has um, uh, uh, adjourned the matter over the issues that we raised that the DPP doesn't discontinue cases by a letter. He has to come to court as prescribed by law and enter a nolle or discontinue the matters. You just don't discontinue by phone or anything. So these matters and what our lawyers raised are coming up on Monday, 12th December 2023 for a ruling to the issues we raised because we have demanded that the accused person must have been uh, at court. And we have put it on record that uh, the actions of Mr. Mao Sampa have been heavily supported by the state and you saw our the matter being put on record that that's why he may not even bother to come to court because he's receiving state prosecution well, state protection and state benefits out of this illegal process i would invite um, our secretary general honorable uh, uh rafael nakachinda to speak to the issues of politics and just the issues which we are dealing with and I'll come and invite on the board. That, uh, do you have hope for you know, the prosecution of this case going by the constitution for the, you know, of uh, Article 180 where the DPP reserves powers? The DPP's decision, if it's not founded in law, can be questioned. For example, in this case, how does he discontinue a matter by a letter? 
the law is very clear how the degree to discontinue is not done. So it doesn't mean that if you have the powers, you have to exercise them unlawfully or wrongly. Yes. So, uh, but you know, we desist from discussing matters in court so that we are not cited for contempt. Uh, oh, yeah, Honorable uh, Rafael Nakachinda is here. I will ask him to say something. We have uh, Honorable. Um, Oh, okay, of course, uh, yeah, we have the uh, Honorable Nixon Chilangwa MP who also says something. Then I'll invite the uh, Honorable Stephen Kampiongo We thank God for God saving the life of the SG. And we thank God that the SG survived the accident just with minor bruises. I want to tell that the train survived the crash with Honorable Nakachinga. But it's just a mercy and grace of God that is here alive. If you see the accident, it was terrible. So we thank God for you, you know, for saving your life. He has saved you for a purpose. Please speak to the issues and what we are just facing. Whether it's here, at the registrar, at parliament, just summarize what we are facing. No, thank you very much. Um, maybe before I express myself, I've uh, requested that uh, we uh, 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 maybe in a minute uh, say something. Thank you, Secretary General. Mine is very simple. It's to just address the women of the patriotic front in this country. That first of all, I thank you for remaining calm. I would like to strengthen you by saying remain resolute to defending the party that you believe in. The party of the patriotic front, which is a pro-poor party, is still strong and intact out there. And I would like you to also remain strong until we win this case. This is your party and we must defend it at all costs. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable Whip. Please. Let me He's going to encourage you. Okay. You want him to speak now? Uh, okay. Uh, thank you so much, SD. Um, I want to say some Thank you so much, SD. First and foremost, it's just to join um, uh, the general membership in thanking God for preserving your life. We are all worried. Uh, looking at the rate of uh, the, 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 the people you are in, um, it's you know, we can only say God is great. Um, but also to say that those who are law enforcement agencies who look into the safety of citizens, be on the road, on the road, uh, the royal, um, they must be sensitive. We know that the rail network now is, is a death trap. And the, yesterday it was you, it could be next person tomorrow. We should start addressing the safety measures. There are so many accidents that have been important, serious ones, where we have lost lives and, and you know, and people's property involving the, 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 the you know, the, the, the rail transport and uh, motor vehicles. So it's shallow for people to think that an accident such as this should be trivialized. Listening to a statement that was officially made, one would think you could have even been charged in your death. You know, I, 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 we should be compassionate, even as government officers, when we are dealing with uh, uh, such matters. Um, just to encourage our members, like I did say the other day um, at, at, at the High Court, the party is you, the people. Each pani mumwe wantu. Each pani the mukot. Each pani is you, the people. And the structures. So, mama structures, you know who your leaders are. And what we are merely going through dealing with is the party, you know, um, uh, fighting government machinery in whatever form. But government machinery must be utilized for a purpose, for the common good of the people. Statecraft is accepted everywhere in the world, but distance must accompany the statecraft wherever we apply it. And so my plea to those that um, in the seats of authorities, it will always be temporal. We are here. We are the same instruments that you have. But we are here. And so let's be responsible when we are utilizing the authority that is deposited into us by people. So we want to akwalesa, we nenuka. It's to let become of capital. But what is important is to save you. 
in sala mule pita mwe in sala imponene area chitufile tulela nda ponoti fya kula ingila mmakoti hapa fuile hapa anawesu hapa mwenyene fuwe hapa fuile kuchingola hapa mafe tufile tulelo ya shapo chishi tulele nga wantu kufafilia ni nsala nga ti nsala wantu te tibayo ya panishu palia nukupe mbele mfu ya mfu ya wachitikisha mbafu wa pali ee tatuleta politicize but some people should take responsibility we were in government we dealt with those matters we dealt with those slags and we made sure that lives were not lost so we are not going to sit back and allow those who are responsible who could have been getting kickbacks and allowed our people to die in that fashion to get all scot free we shall hold them accountable so i thought i could just uh, make this statement but we have to have you and i you know we have got the deputy sg um and our colleagues who are going to parliament my message to you is that ask government to account for what transpired at kaseseli because we have got a committee report on kaseseli mining and you people of zanda should be listen to sincerely mining sincerely mining activities people of zanda should be following when we debate these matters in parliament this report is at parliament and we debated we asked the government who has authorized that operation to go on there has been no response until today when we have lost lives it's not like there's nothing that has been uh, raised each concerns have been raised before and the report of parliament is there which was ever debated so let's not pretend as if this occurred from nowhere so i want to assure to, to encourage our colleagues in parliament to take up this matter and ensure that the government is held accountable uh, so chair i think the issues of the courts for us we are focusing on the people we want to work with us for pf chip and chess was it like i keep saying thank you let's go on up to the watch the journey watch songa let's apart thank you uh before i call upon the deputies allow me to demonstrate that uh, as pf we are ready to govern any time if uh, the whistle is blown today that we take the reins of uh, in office we will govern and govern well. the man that is an authority i allow me to ambush you one of the minister of mines the tragedy in on the copper bed cannot go without your comment honorable minister Thank you, SG, and uh, like uh, my elder brother, Honorable Kampiongo, has said, we thank God for saving your life. And we are surprised that uh, enemies uh, of the people of Zambia would want to trivialize such a, a huge uh, accident that saved your life. In fact, we are told in some quarters, some people are even asked when they arrived, has he died? Mm. Very Zambia. The Patriotic Front stands with the people of Chingola and Copper Belt and the miners across the country uh, to ensure that the work which is currently being undertaken to retrieve the bodies of our people is successfully undertaken. And we are calling on the Chamber of Mines and all stakeholders to work together to ensure that uh, equipment is uh, brought to the site and rescue our people and at this time i want to also urge the people involved especially family members and our people on the copper belt to remain calm while this process is being undertaken and for us as pf uh, we remain resolute and stand with our people in chingola that uh, this process will go over it and i want to thank uh, uh, our leadership which is already on the ground in chingola and copper belt uh, which is giving moral support to the families and also ensuring that this process is done at the areas convenience thank you very much yes, thank you thank you, Lord, so thank you. And I thank you for holding the court uh, and uh, making sure that uh, the anxiety that we at the time that we uh, had that uh, mishap uh, were you know, properly managed and people were given proper direction on where we were proceeding. Please. Thank you. Thank you, it's SG and the other leaders of the party. Our hearts first and foremost go to the families in Chingola as a party and also in my own individual capacity. Um, colleagues, there's a saying, a narration in the Bible, 
which says that when you see trees in green leaves, then you know that the rain season is near. Gama money film to share the limb ban and share him back. In Shimmy Bundo, I didn't pay it. Colleagues, we should take heed. I spoke last week in Parliament and I said the people around the presidency or President Taka in the Italy, please be honest with the president. People around the President Haka in the Hichilema, they need to be truthful with His Excellency the President. From his actions and his conduct, it, it doesn't look like the President is getting the right advice. But I'll give it to him now. President Haka in the Hichilema, you are going in the wrong direction. The things that are preoccupying you are not the things that the Zambian people elected you for. The Zambian people elected for you because they believed you can make a difference. You can make a difference in the governance of this country. You can make a difference in the provision of the basic rights of our people. You can make a difference in improve, improving their livelihoods. You could make a difference by uniting Zambia. You could make a difference in ensuring that the rule of law is upheld. Those are some of the reasons the Zambian people voted for you. President Akainde, you were not voted for by the Zambian people so that you can be, you can be John Flyer. Keep on flying at every twist and turn, even going to meetings which have been cancelled. How can you go to Dubai three times in less than two months? What's so special about Dubai? What is it that the eye is not seeing? President Akain the Hitchlema, you need to cut down on your delegations, you need to cut down on the number of trips that you make. How can you fly from Lusaka to Kasama? to go and commission a runway and come back to Lusaka and the following day you fly to Mansa to go and have a three hour meeting to go and, uh, and look at Mansa trades the project that I started when I was provincial minister of rehabilitating desks at Mansa trades that's what you went to, you went to see that should have been a project that should be overseen by the provincial minister for Lapla province is it that your provincial minister for Lapra province has got enough capacity to do what you to do what you want to do? No. In my time as provincial minister and in my time as MP, I've never commissioned a boho because that is a job for my councillors. I can't be commissioning a boho. If, if I an excellent language, a member of parliament would be commissioning bohos, what would be the, the councillor be doing? Yeah. My template is very clear about what we did and what we achieved in Lopla province. President Haka in the Ichirema, you don't have to take the national template of how you can achieve things. You just take the Lopla template from 2016 to 2021. The Lopla template by Nixon Chilangwa, President Haka in the will tell you what are do's and that are don'ts. How you can get to another level, how you can take this land to another level. President Haka in the Ichirema, you are president. Your presidency has an expiry period. Like the DPP, his ascendance to that particular position is not for his own good, it's for the good of Zambia. Now this this nonsense around Mao's, Mao, every come on. Is it for common good of Zambia? Is it for good of two or three individuals? Our people are looking for help, they are looking for salvation and they see that salvation and hope in the patriotic front. Unfortunately, that is the brutal truth. People still keep on, uh, on singing on high heels to say no PF was voted out of power. Yes, we are voted out of power in 2021 and we agree. And they voted for UPND to go into power. Lo and behold, after two years, the Zambian people are saying PF is better. That's what people are saying. Everywhere I go. But they stand on, floor, on the floor of parliament and say they've done extremely well.
extremely well. Yes, we have done extremely well in increasing the price of milk, mm. in increasing the, the cost of fuel, in, in, in taking the exchange rate to un, unseen levels before, in ensuring that fertilizer is chaotic as, 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 as ever, in ensuring that we do not have maize in stocks, they have all been exported. Yes, you've taken some, the U.S. performed this so well in the negative way. <laughs> and we need to clap for you. Can you want to be clapped for? <laughs> President Akainde, listen. When Zambians are talking now on radios, you need to pay attention. Very soon, Zambians will stop, to, will stop talking. The reason why they will stop talking, they will make a decision that Nimueva Chintong Fatamun Fua by UPND. When Zambians are talking that the price of minimum is too high, please listen. Stop moving all over like you are the only person who enjoys your own traveling, please listen. Stop persecuting and prosecuting your opponents like Nixon Chilangwa and others, please listen. I was told that a statement alluded to him who said Nixon Chilangwa need to be taught a lesson. What lesson? Come on, you are the head of state. You are the big man. So why do you have to bother about Nixon Chilang? Why do you have to bother about uh, Rafael? Why, Mr. President? Is that the reason Zambians voted for you? I want to send this message, and this message is very clear to the Zambian people. Please remain steadfast. The writing is on the wall. To you, Aleya. UPND, Kuyabebele. And we are not going to be shy about it. And I'll speak this message from outside parliament, inside parliament, from inside prison and outside prison. Mm. We have reached a level, colleagues, where you Zambians must, must not be cowards. If Kenneth Kaunda, Simon Kapwepwe, Harimwanga Nkumbula, Humphrey Mulemba were cowards, as we see some people today, we will not have gotten the independence that we have today. We will not. i tell you the truth. This country needs proper leadership. Unfortunately, unfortunately, and you know, it's heartbreaking for those who believed in President Chaka India that is a miracle man for 14 hours. And it's heartbreaking to swallow the bitter, the bitter pill that President Chaka India Ichilema has failed. He has failed you. These are the supporters, and they have failed all of us. If President Aka Inde had performed to expectations, we would not be talking. We would be clapping, all of us. But in fact, ever we have, ever we have, ever we have, ever we have. But unfortunately, our president has failed. And those of you still waiting, that know there's still chance. Imo, there's no chance. This man has failed. How can you be talking about the same bailout from IMF for two years? The man said he's got global connections. He said he's got global connections and he was going to bring in over 25 billion, 25.6 billion worth of investments in this country. The only thing we hear, promise, 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 promise. No, he was in opposition for so many years, he should have had a game plan so that they should have implemented. All of you should have had better jobs, better incomes, better standards of living, but I'm sure that has failed. So me, it's an appeal to President Haka in the Ichilema to come back and realign his bearings and steer this ship to where it should be, unfortunately not, not where he's taking us. So for me, that's my message to this you, to through you, our media, to the Zambians watching out there and listening this morning. President Haka in the Ichilema has failed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Deputy uh, Trustee, uh, senior members of the party. I think what is left of me is best of all to thank uh, our party president, President Edgar Tabalungu, uh, the leadership of the party, and the membership across the country for your prayers and messages of goodwill, and the Zambian people in general. And the uh, fourth estate, the media, thanks for highlighting uh, some of the issues that are faced with on the road and I hope uh, the accident that survived gives an opportunity for those of our friends that are charged with the responsibility of making sure that uh, those who are traveling on the road are guaranteed safety.
uh, we're engaging some of the authorities to make sure that some things that uh, are missing are put in place. Our hearts also go to the people as it has already been echoed in Chingola, uh, the accident uh, victims. We pray that what one of them should and everybody has said is undertaken. Uh, with Mao Sampa, uh, wow, well, the state will try their best. The state will try their best to try and support, protect this failed project. For us, for me personally, I want to encourage Musaka and Dechlan, continue with Mao Sampa. Because that project is this campaigning you heavily. Even what has happened today just takes away. So uh, give him more money, give him more police, continue that project as much as you can. We will be smiling as we walk around because it's the campaigning you. If there is one project that you're undertaking that will finish you outside your failure, is Mao Sampa's project. That one is taking away even the little that you are remaining with in terms of dignity as a president. What has happened in court, we still believe in the judiciary. And we're going to seek uh, redress and recourse on some of the decisions that have been pronounced today. Thank you very much. Uh, the media continue. Uh, being the channel through which uh, information continues to go out there. You were made to believe by UPND that when they come, they will not deal with Mkula in a particular way. Number five, I could be able to see you from the Mkula. That is the kind of criminality and corruption that is taking place in this UPND government. There is more to come. Uh, I'm, the UPND uh, fellows were saying reconfigure the binocracy from only looking at the HH, you should also be looking look at, at, the loco at the locomotive. <laughs> we are going to look at the technology available, but I can assure you, in terms of Vaka in the Mamkula, Sujirite and everything that we are seeing, <laughs> locomotives are yet to reconfigure. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, yes. colleagues. Thank you very much and thank you for coming. Mm. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.